We're back out at Pascagoula with Super Dave Harrington, and we're going to be talking about something very important, trigger manipulation. All right, Dave Harrington. Hey, uh, remember, guys, last week I covered down on the acquisition shot, or what I refer to as initially acquiring the trigger. Keep in mind, your figure should be outside the trigger guard until you make the decision to fire. Well, that puts the onus on you to not only consistently place your finger on the trigger, but take out the mechanical slack to the wall and then press the shot clean. I'm gonna put a little advanced spin on that action where I am gonna combine the first two actions of finding and taking out the mechanical slack as one action. So with my finger outside of the trigger guard, it's in two actions, the gun should go bang. Still working within human reaction time, quarter second increments. I have uh, 0.75 on the clock. The first quarter is to respond to the beep. The second quarter is for finding the trigger the third quarter for pressing the trigger. Now we're gonna focus on releasing the trigger and firing. The first quarter, respond to the beat. Second quarter will be the actual release and then the third quarter, the actual press to fire. If you violate the sequence of loading for this exercise, the chances of the gun going bang without you intending it to do so are probably gonna be pretty good. Make sure the pistol's unloaded and cleared, all right? Point it in a safe direction, press the trigger, decocking the trigger mechanism, and hold the trigger to the rear, all right? Once you insert seat and lock the magazine, action the slide. Now, if you notice, I am holding the trigger to the rear consistently throughout the loading process. I chamber a cartridge, now I'm set up, I'm ready to go. All I have to do to make the gun go bang now is to simply release and press, okay? Keep in mind, we're working in quarter second increments, so here we go. Stand by. Point four two. so I'm already there. I'm gonna see if I can't uh, compress it a little bit. Here we go, stand by. Uh, I compress that one right off the target. So I'm gonna decelerate my actions a little bit and go from there. Here we go, stand by. Press it a little left, but I'm at point four. stand by. Good center punch, 0.41. Now, if you notice as I am firing this exercise, when I press the trigger and make the gun go bang, I'm holding the trigger to the rear. When you're finished, unload and clear. And that's all I've got. Now, you put those two together, the acquisition shot with the reset, that allows you to drive the gun hard without disturbing the working relationship of the gun with the target as refined by use of the sights, the iron sights or a dot sight. And hey, this is Keith with Tacticam down here in Southern Mississippi filming with Trigger Time TV. So welcome to the gear locker. Today I'm gonna to talk about the 5.0. The 5.0 camera is the number one point of view action camera on the market today. This camera is built solely for the purpose of the hunters, sportsmen alike. With an array of mounting solutions, you can mount it on anything. This right here is the 5.0. Weighs three and a half ounces and is a one touch selector. So whenever you turn it on, it automatically starts recording from the time that you touch that button. That is one of the best features and when you compare it to other point of view action cameras on the market. This is a touch and go, you hear two vibrate, you know that it's recording. What makes it also great is it has a remote. So like you can have two or three of these set up, one touch on the remote and it's going to take and turn on and start recording on all the cameras. 
so that way you, you don't have to sit up there and run back and forth you know to, to turn them on and everything so it has uh three modes your first mode is going to be your 4k it's going to record an ultra hd at up to 30 frames per second or as slow as 15. then you're going to have your second mode which is going to be your max zoom which is 8x and then your third mode which is